Another important hibernate interview question is what is the life cycle of a hibernate object or what are the different states that are associated with a hibernate object When we just create an object which is yet to be associated with a hibernate session it is in a transient state These objects can be used as data transfer objects to share data across our application layers To associate these objects with a session we can do it by calling the save and persist methods and pass the object or if the object is already in the database we do it using find and load and pass the id the object that is loaded will be in a persistent state meaning changes made to the persistent object will be synchronized with the database hibernate will synchronize them when the next commit or flush happens If the delete method is invoked on a persistent object it will go back to the transient state and as soon as the session that it is associated with is closed by invoking close or clear or evict on the session it will move to the detached state detached objects can be used as data transfer objects again we can share data using them across the application but the changes made to those objects or collections will not reflect or will not be synchronized by hibernate to the database the detached objects can be reassociated to a session using methods such as session dot update save or update and merge if that doesn't happen after some time the detached object will be garbage collected if no other reference variable is pointing to that similarly even in a transient state if the object is not being used by or pointed to in the application after some time it can be garbage collected 